Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the show. Our next guest just knocked back an entire glass of water in one sip. He's and a that's parched. why he's a broadcasting legend. Uh, he is here to talk movies and a whole bunch of other things. Mr. Terry David Mulligan, how are you? Uh, Mulligan? You know, while well, I'm recovering from a cold, other than that, I'm fine. I'm You've happy. been sick I'm for a long thrilled. time. Yeah, I heard I you on Pratt and Taylor like two weeks ago, and you were sick. Uh, but I went through a whole bunch of things. We, you know, there was the gold medal plates up in Kelowna. Mm -hmm. I had to then go to Zap in San Francisco. It's 10,000 people in two rooms. That's yeah. a lot of germs. Zinfandel Festival, Drinking right? Zinfandel. No, yeah. shaking hands. Hi, how you doing? Um, and I, it, it was only inevitable. Are you was, feeling better? For now? Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, yesterday, uh, during the whole Randy Quaid thing, uh, um, what is the whole oh, Randy oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but Hold on. But two days ago, uh, I was described by Catherine Monk in an article as a Canadian fixture. Fixture? Which, which I thought was maybe a like knob, a faucet. A doorknob or yeah, a faucet. Like a faucet. Yeah. Yeah. Or a well, toilet seat. Well, doorknob. <laughs> uh, what fixture, was this, faucet. What uh, was Randy Quaid thing? We've been reading about him in the news for a while. I thought there were a bunch of warrants out for his arrest, and then you said There's you were going to go... There's not a bunch. It's just that the, he came across the border to essentially pick up the award that I gave him yesterday. He won... Uh, the Vancouver Film Critics Circle Award for Best Supporting Actor for Real Time with Jay right. Barisal. And this is yeah. the press conference yesterday. That's right. <laughs> there you are standing the behind him. Yeah. So this is like this has been running on CNN. This is no, everywhere. No, it's crazy. This. It's crazy. 143 stories with my name in it. That's goofy. <laughs> all, all I was doing was covering for Ian Cadell. Uh, Ian, right. he's got a battle with uh, cancer, and he's. He said, can you do this? Because I can't talk. I went, absolutely, I'll go in and do it. And I didn't, I wasn't quite sure what, the, well, how it was going to play out. And it out. happened to fall on the day where uh, he had his big hearing about whether he could stay in Canada. But the reason why he was here, the reason why he was arrested and detained was he came to pick up the award. So, so like, a year later, we said, let's give him the award. A Canadian fixture got him in trouble. Yeah, uh, wow. that's Mounty, yeah. Now, Randy Quaid, uh, the whole Star Whacker thing, he's yeah. been spouting a lot of things that I, <laughs> well, crazy. Don't I know it's really kinda, I know, understand. I know, and I didn't, I, you know, I, I understand what you're saying. He's a little so, kooky. One of the first questions was, are you still concerned about a cabal of Star Whackers? Which I thought was, I thought was unbelievable. A cabal. And what was his response? Uh, he didn't respond. I love that that's the question, though. Are you still concerned of a cabal, a cabal well, of Star Well, so Whackers. he's officially allowed to stay in Canada. He is because uh, Evie, his, uh, his wife, uh, discovered, much to her surprise and delight, that her father was Canadian. Nice. Uh, I heard you yesterday uh, talking to uh, the boys on Team 1040 again, and, and you were talking about the fact that you quite like the guy. Like he's a, he's a I good like him dude. A lot. I, I like love him. his body of work. I yeah. love his yeah. you know his filmography. Yeah. He's a great actor. And that's what what I tried to say yesterday was what's been lost in all of this is a he's a really good actor. B he do, makes really good films, and C it's great to have him here. Yeah. If he stays, great. Perfect. A lot of actors are crazy. Yeah. We just know it about well, Randy it, it Quaid. Well, it kind of goes with the territory. It really does. Uh, and show hosts. They, they, you're, allowed, you're allowed to be <laughs> eccentric. Right. Yes. You. If you pull this routine off out there, <laughs> oh, yeah. you'd be done. I like that we call it eccentric where other people call it nuts. <laughs> okay, let's move on. The Oscars, Oscars. are on Sunday night. Uh, there's uh, a lot of great movies this year, and we're going to start off with Best Supporting Actor. These are your, your picks. picks. Who do you think he's going to take it for the fellas? Well, for the fella, for the boys. Mm -hmm. um, well, I would think that the um, uh, actor is going to be Colin Firth, King Speech. Yeah, and because it was just a wonderful, wonderful, well, again, wonderful. Supporting, role. we're starting supporting. on supporting. More, oh, okay, fine. Supporting. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. uh, supporting actor would be Christian Bale. See, that's the one role that I would fall off the couch if he didn't win that. If he doesn't, that's astounding. Win, he yeah. became this character. A he astounding. Was, and he it was, was some the, of the best acting I've ever seen. He was the first voice you hear. You don't even recognize the guy you have on screen. You yeah. don't even recognize him. You realize that it's him, and that he is the first voice and the first face that you see. He's a junkie. He's got all the tendencies. He's He's got, uh, he's, he's very much a loser living in this sort of play world, and he's dragging his brother down. And it's a fantastic oh, film. Oh, good. And, and Melissa Leo is his mom, is the, mm -hmm. the boy's mom, right? Yeah. And, and first of all, it's the best group acting I've ever seen, mm -hmm. and Melissa Leo should win for Best Supporting. She's up actress. for Best Supporting, too. I totally agree with those two. Now, let's move on to Best Actor. I don't. I think you're crazy. <laughs> oh, no, I don't really care. Eccentric. Yeah. Well, uh, who would you Colin think of this Firth. thing? 
The King's Speech. Yeah. Amazing film. Yeah. M more importantly, if you saw the 60 Minutes story, they took the King's speech and his speech, put them side by each, and intercut the two of them. It was the same voice, the same texture. You're kidding. Everything all was beautiful, beautifully done. He was done. fantastic. And so, uh, be astonished. And Natalie Portman for Black Swan. She was amazing, too. Yeah, that was a great film. Well, and people don't, I mean, the cool thing when you put together a piece like 60 Minutes is, is people really appreciate how long it must take for these guys, like for Colin Firth, to get that right. I mean, yeah. to just... For, and, for and, Natalie Portman to become a ballerina. Yeah, well, and how much they but, care, both but The cool them. thing about her was that she had, she had done it previously in her life. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she wasn't coming to it uh, uh, yeah. un unknowing. She had, when she was 10 and 12... But still, and, the amount of work... Like, I did, hours too, to when you I was did? 10. Did you, uh, I couldn't dance like did, her. Did you wear a little jaw person? Did you ride horses and things? Yes, and I did. Did you ever have a hangnail that, that went though. right up your finger? <laughs> did you ever have that? That happened to me once. Did you just ask me if I wore jaw purse? What are jaw purse? Jaw riding pants. Right Didn't you? Yes. Weren't you? Weren't you a sort of a socialist, a so, a elitist a yes. a question? I was very elitist. Uh, so they, moving on to the movie, uh, um, I, th I have I have gone back and forth between... Star Whacker. <laughs> Cabal. Cabal. Uh, okay, the social network, well, director. You think so? Yes, I do. Absolutely really? positively. Yes, positively. There's a lot of debate. Bank on it. There yeah? is no debate. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's David Fincher. I don't know if I was as impressed with this movie as everyone else seems to be. I mean, I thought it was all right, but maybe... Look at Mulligan's face. He's like, are you kidding me? Now, I have to say that the dialogue in this, the cinematography, everything was, was great, but do you really... It was movie of the week content to me. No, it was... What it was was, Michael, you... He missed the point. Firmly, uh, firmly up my... Um, uh, hoopster. Your okay. cabal. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, the fact that, that that story, which was almost a, a legal story, he worked his way through that and kept us involved in it. We cared about things like computers and these nerds working in sweatshops and stuff like that. Uh, he made us care about what... And now, I think now, simply because of the impact that Facebook has had on our news uh, of the world for the last six weeks. Do you remember the, the film? What was the one about Microsoft? I mean, it's been done. Like, I just... Silicon, Pirates of Silicon Valley? Yeah, so, like, really? So, in fact, <laughs> you so in fact your like... movie then is... <laughs> but, well, I don't care. What, do you, what, do you mean, but, what for, for direction? No, for, for movie uh, of the year. I, I love Black Swan. I thought it was great. I don't think it'll win Best Film. I thought Inception yeah, no. was Dude. an incredible Dude. film. Yeah. Okay, Best Inception, Film. If anybody sneaks through, Inception's going to win three or four uh, technical awards. It might it might sneak through. I think that's a slim chance. Yeah. I think it's between Social Network and The King's I just, Speech. I, I think for Best Film, King's Speech will probably win. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the best movie of the year was The Fighter. I think so too. Flat yeah. out. I thought it was amazing. Flat, Flat, out. Flat, Flat out. out. Fantastic. Well, you can so hang out with your. With you every star. Hey, why? Why were you in our building? What are you doing? There was I'm something not, about I'm much music. I'm, I'm trying to remember what I did. Uh, I'm trying to write a book <laughs> with with Glenn Schaefer, and Schaefer keeps saying, "Well, who said what?" Well, you can't just tell me that you did these interviews with these people. What did they say? So you're writing a book about going, your years on much. Come on, I'm not going to remember that. So I'm go I'm, I have boxes of tapes, and hopefully I'll run across some of the clips that I can use. It's My favorite it's very clip frustrating. from your, your times on uh, Much Music when the bird pooped on your head. Find that tape. Uh, that was uh, Horseshoe Bay. Yes, it was. Yeah. You and I could sorry. see, the, I see the seagull Bay? coming in. Or? No, I'm doing an interview, and the seagull comes in, and, and, and all the boom, Bam. This, this warm goo hits me on the forehead. Okay. Okay. We're and scene. Let's, let's, just, let's just leave it there. that last statement. Nope. Leave it there.